But we begin today with Floyd Mayweather's considered opinion on Jeremy Lin. Mayweather tweeted the following, quote, Jeremy Lin is a good player, but all the hype is because he's Asian. Black players don't get the same praise, unquote. Wilbon, you are never with Floyd. You're with him now. No. No, not with him. First of all, that's wrong, historically. Because there have been all kinds of But graphics. other than that. Yeah, other than that, all week, to say players like Michael Jordan and Kobe and Shaq have not done these things historically. Nor have white players like Larry Bird or John Havlicek or Bob Cousy. No, nobody done them historically. So that's just wrong, number one. But see, the bigger problem here is there's a history with Mr. Mayweather, who's not just a coward but a bigot. And he says things that would reveal him to me to be simply scummy. Let me just repeat something that he said in 2010 of Pacquiao. Said he should go make some sushi rolls and cook some rice. I mean, he's made plain he's a bigot. So now you can't come two years later and say something as if there was no history with your own words. Did you see what God bless Pacquiao. Jeremy Lin just yeah. to sort of jam it yeah. to Mayweather. Look, it, it's wrong on a lot of counts. First of all, there are black players every day playing great. And getting praise That's right. and getting money and making all-star teams That's and being the, the MVP. Yeah. So we get rid of that. Second of all, there's a larger point here. And I think it is reasonable to c- conclude, and I think you would agree with me, that Jeremy Lin may have faced some prejudice prior to this breakthrough. Sure. People may have looked at him and they would have said, I haven't seen anybody quite like him before. I doubt him. Anytime. And if he's getting more praise now because of the combination of being Asian and being in New York, it's compensation. Fine. Fair That's compensation. Because you know what? That's right. Anytime you're an oddity in any sport, whether you're Tiger Woods and you're young and you're growing up playing this golf, right. Right. a white kid now playing professional basketball in America, not overseas, where plenty of kids white kids do but you're an oddity and people look at you that's a good story that's fair to point out Yao Ming is a good story the first seven foot Chinese seven Tim Tebow a guy that everybody says can't play in the league he's an oddity here's something Mayweather may want to consider Gary Payton who last I checked is black taught some of his pet moves to Jeremy Lin when Jeremy Lin was a young man and Peyton recognizes those moves. Thought Jeremy Lin could play then. So I'm glad that not everybody out there is buying into Mr. Mayweather's bigotry. Actually, very few people are buying it. Let's hope so. Boys and girls, welcome to Check It or Leave It. The Fast Lane presents Take It or Leave It. I want to say something. To put it out there. If you like it, you can take it. If you don't, send it right back. Get your text in now to the Ryan Kelly, the Home Loan Expert.com text line at 65780. Best chance, take it or leave it. And it starts right now. That's my final offer. Take it or leave it. All things being equal, let's just take the emotion out of it for one second, if we can. Just All for right. this 30 seconds. I can do that. And the Rams do move to L.A. And coming up in the draft this year, let me just say it. Take it or leave it, Jameis Winston is the wrong quarterback for Southern California. Oh, man, that's a lot of temptation out there. I'm going to take that. You're going to take that? I'm going to take that. But okay. B- mainly because I think if, if you had a chance to get Jameis, that probably means you have a chance to get Mariota also. True. I think he might be more so okay. your guy. Michelle? Personality-wise, yes. I would say Mariota. But I think if you're bringing a team out there, you want as much publicity and winning as possible. And if he's the best fit and the best quarterback, then I would take it. See, that was the other one I was going to hit you with. Take it or leave it. Mariota's the wrong quarterback for L.A. Leave it. <laughs> yeah, I already took too. the other Because are you sure he's going to actually turn out to be the guy? No, okay, see, but that's I'm, what I'm saying. I'm sure he'll handle L.A. Yeah. fine. I, I feel good about that. I feel good. If, if you just put him out in L.A., he's going to be okay. He's going to be good to go. Now, is okay. he going to win right away? I don't know. Right, and that's the other thing, right? What's worse than a quarterback that acts up off the field in Los Angeles? One that loses. An absolute flop that yeah. loses. <laughs> that's a good point. So I, I was just taking an early look at, at this weekend's football games. Take it or leave it. The home teams win every game this weekend. So Patriots, Seahawks, Packers, Broncos. I'm going to take it. I like that final four, don't you? I love that final four. Yeah. And and I know that the Cowboys are undefeated uh, on the road this year, but the Packers have been ridiculous at home. Yep. I don't see any of this. And the Ravens have had success in Foxborough. That being said, I think the, the home teams are by far the best team. You know... I'll tell you what, to be honest, if Flacco goes up there and beats Brady at his own house... Again. I'll give him more credit. I'll give him a well, lot didn't, more credit. Didn't, he, uh, didn't they win a, in Foxborough yeah, uh, Harbaugh two years is, ago? Harbaugh is the only coach that seems to have figured out how to beat Belichick in Foxborough. I'll give them credit. But this year, the way the Patriots are yeah. playing right now and the way the Ravens were playing until the playoff game... 
they go up there and beat New England, I give him a whole lot more credit. He he forces his way into my top ten. It's going to be a fun weekend. Yes. To the text line, take it or leave it. DGB will have a lot of trouble learning an NFL offense. I'll leave that. Run. Matt, Run and get your big giraffe butt up in the yeah, air. Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna go. I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave you that. You can simplify it for a guy with his skill set, right? Uh, I, I think people are bringing up the Brian Quick comparison. Um, I think it's gonna be. I see. I think maybe DGB adjusts to the league faster than Brian Quick because well, of the way he plays. He was in a, a different offense. He looked to be, you know, a, a good route runner. He's big. He's physical. He yeah, seemed to have I, I know Quick had a lot of the same ones. But it was at kind of a different level of competition. It wasn't SEC football. Right. I I think the thing with Quick, it was more about confidence. And I don't think DGB lacks for confidence. I think he lacks I think he's I'd say, overconfident. I think his confidence, among other things, is high. Right. Yeah. So I think that's, yeah, I think he'll be fine for the NFL. Take it or leave it. This Rams situation has made you appreciate the Blues and Cardinals a little more. Take it. Absolutely. It's it's solid. You know it's there. I'm not going there. Like I got to leave baby. that. I got to go. I got to leave that. That's, Why? That's a cop out. It's not a cop out. You it just is. appreciate the fa- no, things that are here I, in your life. Never crossed my mind. I got to leave it. I I've, I always I've always appreciated the Blues and the Cardinals. It doesn't make me appreciate them more or less that the Rams could be moving or whatever. No, I got to leave that. They're the Cardinals have earned their respect outside of who's leaving and who's True. coming, right? So have the Blues. Still makes you happy. You can smile about it every day. Okay. <laughs> take it or leave it. When you say I'm going to watch the news, you actually mean you're going to watch Sports Center. Take it. Oh, take it. <laughs> yeah. Is there any other news? I, I'll be completely honest with you. I am oblivious to what's going yes. on outside of the sports world. Like, I, I really live in a little bubble True. right now. Yes. And I love the bubble that Sports I live in. Sports Center tells me when I should turn on CNN. Yeah. If they're talking <laughs> about it. If for some reason I see Obama on Sports Center, I'm like, ah, okay, turn guess it on. what? What's going, going on? on? Yes. I'm always about a week late on the current events. Like, I, the plane that goes down, I find out like a week later. Right. And they haven't found it yet. Found what yet? The plane you, that went down. What I would plane love to make down? fun of you, but I'm, I am there. <laughs> Michelle, are you there? Or are you current events? Well, no, I like current events. Okay. Sorry. All right. All right, last one. Take it or leave it. Peacock Blitz sounds like the name of an awesome rock band. Take it. Peacock Blitz. It does. Yes, it does. I'm uh, going to the Peacock Blitz show. Death metal? Or it's an exotic Greg Williams package. Either way. <laughs> That's true. Wait. I like this. Is that, is that an alt band? For sure. That's an alt band? Well, Peacock oh, no. Blitz. Oh, no. That's Nickelback. See? No, see? no, no. See? Nickelback is not alt. Nickelback <laughs> is, what do you call it? I'm not saying that. You should. Go ahead, Brad. Peacock Blitz just, it just sounds like showy, <laughs> but it's going to be like right in your face. I saw metal. That's what I saw. Blitz, that's that's metal. Right, but Peacock, watch this show. Well, that's good. That's, see, that's the Guns and Roses. See? A lot of good stuff. Guns and Roses, yeah, right, I'm right. They, they, and you have something you got. They, there's a group with the roses in it, and they rock hard. That's what I